We've got a big match today with Chelsea in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. We've drawn Fleetwood in the FA Cup third round, which will be next episode, possibly. Probably ought to skip this one and go to the FA Cup, but we're not. Uh, and uh, we'll take a look at scores. We've got a new tactic that we're looking at, and we have used once with very positive results. So let's get into it. Hey guys, RC here, episode 12 with Club 3 and our football manager, Journeyman. We're at Leicester. We won the championship going away last year, and uh, like most championship sides, we are finding the going a little bit rougher in the Premier League in Season 1 back in the top flight. Uh, after beating Burnley last episode, kind of a surprise. Uh, we did beat Bristol City 4-0. Uh, Chasson had a, a brace. Gerver had a set-piece goal, and we got an own goal. The defense was really there. Everton, we settled for a 2-2 draw. Graves and Gomez Santos with late heroics to come back from a 2-0 hole to get a point out of that one. 3-1 loss to Tottenham. Eric Graves scored yet again. A 1-1 draw with number two in the table, Man United. Robert Cernan getting another goal there. Leeds, a 2-2 draw. Leeds, bottom of the table, sadly. Cernan and Jamie Romain with the goals. And then we brought in a new tactic that uh, I broke in in my other series uh, this week as well. And uh, a 6-2 demolishing of West Brom. Now, West Brom's near the bottom of the table. I want to say they were like in 16th, but they're not too far behind us. Uh, we did get a goal from Stigen Henson's, four goals from Eric Graves, and Andre Mikatin with a goal as well. Taking a look at the squad, our goal leaders, Graves 14 and 17, Cernan 9 and 13 starts, Mensa still out injured, 3 and 5. Romain, only three goals in 18 after the huge year he had last year. Mikatin, three from 16. Playing well, but again, I think Cernan has earned his starting spot. I don't think we're going to be getting rid of him at all. Nothing on the transfer front, as you can see, but we continue pushing that wage bill where we are. We continue to hemorrhage money. Uh, and our balance is down to just under one, $101.5 million. We're still doing, I mean, you know, still a lot of money, especially if we can, you know, win some money this year. That would be great. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the matches today. Let me get the Newcastle match played. They are fourth in the table. This is going to be a tough one. And then we'll play Chelsea in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. We'll do that on camera. So let me get it played, and we'll be right back with the highlights. So not much expected from this match. There's the look at the new tactic, a 3-4-3. Romain takes the corner, near post. Ramsey with the header. Puts it in the net. one nothing advantage in the seventh minute. We would still be holding on and nursing a 1-0 lead into the second half. And Cernan finds the back of the net after a beautiful through ball. That made it 2-0. Nagami came in off the bench, finds Chasson off the bench. There's a cross in. The keeper couldn't make the play, and Cernan got a brace with the second goal. Then he took the penalty, made it 3-0. He got his hat trick and looking good. 4-0 in the 79th minute. Graves, Cernan, back to Graves, and Graves takes a shot from the edge of the box, 25 yards out, and buried it. Beautiful cross over the top. Keeper made a nice save, but he was not in position to make the rebound. They got a late cheap one. That was okay. 5-1, 22 shots to 20. They did have possession, but we played very well. 
And I've got to like that. So the, the new tactic is looking really good. Certainly cannot complain about it. So we may give that a run. All right, well, let me... Well, I tell you what, with that win, we're up to ninth. Uh, there are a couple of teams around us with a game in hand, but the wins are piling up for us. Five wins, five losses, seven draws, and a plus seven goal differential now that we've started putting some in the net these last two matches. And we're on 22 points from 17 games. We are six points clear of relegation, and we are only three points behind Burnley for your Europe spots. Let's go ahead and get up to the Carabao Cup, take on Chelsea. They'll be tough, top of the table in the Premier League. All right, we do have a youth intake preview, several attacking midfielders coming through, one fullback with promise. Uh, two of those attacking midfielders keep a close eye on, uh, one forward, a fine prospect, a uh, Northern Irish attacking midfielder from Carnley. I think it's Carnley. Let me know if I pronounced that right. And a terrific group, potential golden generation. Interesting enough. Uh, Kevin Day uh, suffered a broken foot. He's out for four months playing in the U23s. We're going to put Gerver, McNeil, and Kowalski on the back line. Rush and Mikatan on the wings. Nagami and Mateus in the mid. Wheel slides up into the number 10. I think Mikatan just plays a little bit better out wide than he does in that shadow role. Uh, he does a great job up top, but uh, I think Wheel does a better job in here. He's actually the better player. So that this lets us keep our best players on the field. And then Cernan and Graves, the goal-scoring tandem up at the top of the formation. Very attacking, creates a lot of chances. But you can be left open at times with the tactic. So, you know, the ch hope is to, kind of like Leeds in real life this year, you just hope to outscore your opponent, right? All right, let's encourage him here in the get-go. Lester with a couple of shots early on. They've got the first highlight over the top. And a big save and then cleared out by Gerver. We're not playing an offsides trap or anything, so nothing super fancy there. All right, still only one shot. There's our second. Not a whole lot happening here. All right, let's demand a little more. McNeil starts it off to Nagami. Building from the back. Trying to find a gap in Chelsea's defense there was a nice tr attempt by Mikatan, but it turns around Kowalski's beaten over the top Hernandez gets to the ball there and nobody closes down Dumas given is beaten at the back post and we find ourselves in a 1-0 disadvantage and that's one of the weaknesses of this tactic but being outshot 10 to 4, and we're only in a 1 0 hole. <laughs> uh, hopefully, we can keep it at 1 0. Oh my God. Oh, he tried to dink Gibbon, but he was ready for it. He stayed on his feet, stayed big, and was able to just jump up and make that play. 10 corners. I think we need to be doing better. Um, we're going to point the finger. Let's do the uh, let's do the underdog thing. Motivate them. There you go. Uh, hold on. I didn't see a thing that Wheel was injured. Hampered by his injury. All right, a foot injury. All right. So we're gonna pull we're gonna pull Mikeaton up into that spot. Then we'll bring Henson's in on the outside. We'll do that. Rush Mikeaton. Squared in, Graves is in position after a deflection. He puts it in the net for the equalizer. That was very fortuitous. We'll be happy with that. Some good ball movement there, a little, little triangle formation. Wheel took the shot, good save, deflected over. Graves pounces on it and is able to convert the angle. 
Got to be happy with that. Definitely on sides. Looks like they were checking that out. Let's encourage them again. Graves. He takes a ping from range. That was dangerously close, but a little optimistic. All right, we're starting to come back into it with shots. Rush the high long ball. It's cleared out. Gerver puts it right back up into the attack zone. Nagami and Rush partnering up. Oh, Mateus gets it knocked away. Kowalski with a horrible ball. And there's a counter. Hernandez runs onto it. Kowalski tries to cut the angle. It's cleared out. Good defense there. But Chelsea's right back on it into the attack zone. Oh, Gerber. Oh, Gerber let it go. Gerber made a great defensive effort to get his foot on the ball, knock it away, but then he stumbled, it looked like, and could not keep up with the attacker into the box. The keeper should have come out on that. Oh, man. All right. We've got a couple of guys that have just gone tired. Uh, I'll tell you what, Mikatin, we're going to bring Gomez Santos into that number 10. And Rush, let's bring Chasson on out there. We're going to go ahead and make all the subs now. About 10 minutes early from where I'd like to be. The injury caused that. But that way we've got the freshest legs possible. Big save by Dewara, and we still find ourselves down two to one. All right, headed down. Henson's is there. He takes a poke at it. Looked like a toe poke. Not a very good effort. Nagami now dragging. Let's demand more. Building from the back as we are wont to do. Oh, Cernan is over it. He finds Graves, and Graves slots it home. All right, let's pop in here. Now, I'm not going to mess with the tactic much. We're already on positive instead of attacking. Let's, um, let's play for set pieces and slow the pace down. That's about the most time-wasting I like to do. Uh, basically, that's where the keeper will fall on the ball on a save and lay on it. Take their time on corners and throw-ins. Nice ball out by Gerver, and Cernan just turns on Redmond and beats him. And a brilliant ball through to Graves, and Graves has been deadly accurate for us. Definitely looks really good. Oh, come on. Now the stress is getting to me. Jasson is beaten there, deflected. Oh, and I think I think Gibbon was bl blocked out. I don't think he could see where that ball was at. Chasson has got to do better. That's a horrible play coming off the bench. First, he just let the player get behind him. Unlucky that Gerver's clearance hit Chasson, but then the fact that it bounced right to another player. We're going to go up to attacking here, and you know what? We're going to have to take all that off now. Not going to play for set pieces. And we are not going to slow the pace down. Um, yeah, we're going to stay counter-pressing and everything. That would probably be one thing I maybe should have changed for this match. All right, that one goes over. 88th minute. Come on, boys. Four minutes, and nothing comes of it. Cernan and Graves played well. Wheel had a 7.1. I think his getting hurt really damaged us there. But, you know, from how we started, we were right there with these guys. We actually gave them a run uh, much better with this tactic than with the other tactic. Um, unlucky. Motivated them out. So just a reminder, hit the like button if you like what you see. If you want to see more of it, that's your way of supporting the channel. 
Uh, subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell for daily football manager uploads. Uh, if you do not watch the other series, the uh, the single team save with the Graf Shop, you should. It, we're having a lot of fun with that. But uh, the question I posed over there. So if you've watched me for any length of time, I traditionally would do two saves a year and try to do one for like the first six months, one for the second six months up through the release of the next beta, which is typically in October. And, you know, but you, you would usually get to, hey, dude, how's it going? Uh, you would usually get to, you know, 100 episodes, maybe up to 200 episodes, uh, to, you know, putting out six days a week for one series, right? And if you did it for the whole year. Since we're only doing three days a week, which you guys are the ones that, that wanted to do that, which you, and you know, I think the reasoning makes sense because like you, I have some guys that are my primary YouTube guys and then other guys that are my secondary YouTube guys. And some days I get to watch those, some days I don't. And then those guys are kind of prioritized. And then, you know, the number one secondary guy, I'll binge watch his and try to catch up. And some of those guys fall by the wayside if I fall too far behind. And I get that. So I don't mind doing every other day if it helps you guys stay up to date. Uh, because I know I am everybody's, you know, fallback plan. And I get that. But at some point, I need to decide whether to end these series or try to, or just do these two for the entire year. The journeyman, I think, can be a year-long save unless we just get to a point where we're dominating. With the way that we're doing it with the Bielsa modification, I don't think there's a limit on where we could drop down and come back up um, and continually rebuild teams. Um, let me know what you think about that. You know, is that more interesting than, you know, going and winning, you know, winning the league, winning Champions League, and then calling it quits after that? Um, or, you know, speaking of the other save as well, it's a single team save. So the farther into that save that we get, the more likely it is, is that viewership's going to drop off. Uh, new people won't be as interested in starting that series whereas at least with the journeyman when you start a new team it's kind of like an episode number one all over again and people can jump in at that point without knowing the previous history let's say so um you know just kind of let me know your thoughts as far as you know possibly ending these series which one would you rather see end um you know just give me some feedback uh just kind of one of those things that you know as a uh you know, as a creator, I've got to think about, and uh, I do have a save idea that I would like to do uh, at some point. And I think now that we're into March, mid March, we're kind of getting to that point that, you know, end of the month, sometime in April is about the time that I've got to pull the trigger on that if I'm going to do it and have a long enough period of time to put out reasonable content. The second question, and that does apply to this save, whether you're just watching this one or watching both, because we're not putting out daily content for each individual save, we're only going every three days a week, I'm currently putting up about the same number of episodes per series that, you know, in, you know, that I, you know, basically what I'm, what I mean by that is, you know, we played Burnley and then we played a handful of games and then we were back. So, you know, five, you know, six, seven, eight, nine episodes a season. Do we drop that? And this is where I really want your feedback. Do we drop that and just do four or five episodes a season, you know, or maybe six, three before the transfer window to kind of get to know the team? three after to see how the team ends up and try to get through more seasons because you have to remember seven eight nine episodes a season when you're doing it weekly you're going a season a week now i'm taking two to two and a half weeks a season and that means you guys are seeing less over time 
So give me some thoughts on that as well. I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to think. And as you can see, I've already changed some things on my channel based on your feedback. You know, so uh, certainly not shy about doing that. Again, thank you so much for checking me out. Thanks for dropping by and uh, look forward to your comments. We'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.